So you're thinking about living in San Diego, but you comparing it to Seattle, Washington. So whether you already live in Seattle or you're comparing San Diego and Seattle, this episode is going to be for you. I'm going to give you a little side by side comparison. We're going to dive into crime, housing, renting, cost of living. I don't even go into politics, right? Let's go there. I'm a realtor. It's probably like, why is a realtor going to talk about that? I'm going there. It's cool. We're going to do that. My name is Kyle Whistle, your guide to living in San Diego. I'm one of those few born and raised San Diegans. I've lived here for 40 plus years of my life, and I want to share my experience with you so you can make the right decision if San Diego is going to be right for you and for your family. If you enjoyed the episode today, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know. If you want more of our content, hit subscribe and the little notification bell. And if you have questions, throw them in the comment section. We can play a little Q&A in there. Love to answer any questions that you have. With that said, I'm going to shrink my head down. I know that's not what you're watching this video for. You want to get into the data, so we're going to do that. Um, all the data, there's going to be links down below in the comment or uh, in the description. So if you want to check out any of these links, um, you want any more information, all that's going to be there. Understand everything I'm going to give you today is all data from third party sources. Again, I'm a real time. I want to get my ass in trouble. I'm just going to give you the data so you can rely on it. And then if you do want to connect with our team, you want to learn more about the comparison between these two places, you can call or text us down below. That'll connect you with my team. We can learn a little bit more about you, what your goals are, and put a plan in place to help you accomplish those goals. Whether it's coming here to San Diego or going up there to Seattle or anywhere else in the country, we got you covered. Call us or text us at that number. So let's dive into a little bit of data today. So if we are looking at San Diego County versus Seattle, Washington, um, first thing you're going to see is population wise, San Diego is, is substantially larger than Seattle, Washington area, over 3 million people in San Diego. And that's grown a little over 8% in the last couple of years, where in Washington, you're looking at 770,000 people. So much smaller as a whole, um, despite the pictures that you see there, um, which that picture is not even San Diego County. That's uh, I think up in Big Sur. So um, San Diego, you're going to have a much higher population. It's growing a little bit slower than Seattle. Um, one of the things you have in San Diego is you're, you're very uh, constrained where there's not a whole lot of housing being built in San Diego. We got an ocean on one side of us. We got a desert on the other side of us. We got a, another country on one side of us and a military base on the other side. So a little bit more constrained when it comes to building in San Diego. And I think that's a big part of it. Uh, median income between the two San Diego, you're 64 uh, versus 67 in Seattle. So pretty similar when it comes to median income um, slash these median home prices out. That data is a little bit um, outdated. So we'll get into some more accurate data. Um, unemployment rate 6.9 in San Diego versus 4.8 in Seattle. So definitely a little bit, you know, better um, unemployment rate when it comes to Seattle. Median age is going to be pretty much the same between the two. And then what I want to dive into, obviously, I think one of the biggest differences you're going to find um, between Seattle and San Diego is going to be the weather. Um, so let's hit on a couple things real quick. Your typical um, highs in the summer in San Diego, you're going to be hovering in the low 80s versus in the you know, mid 70s in Seattle. So the summertime, you know, weather's not drastically different. Um, you get into the winter, you're going to be in the 40s in San Diego. You're going to be in the 30s um, up in Seattle. So a little bit cooler in Seattle. But here's where the big differences are going to come in. We're talking San Diego County, you're about 14 inches of rain per year. Um, and a lot of times, having grown up here my whole life, is you will go months at a time without any rain in San Diego. During the summer, um, it is very, very rare to see rain. I know there's been periods three, four months straight with not an inch of rain dropping in San Diego. Um, so you're at 14 inches a year in San Diego. And as you would expect, Seattle's going to be much higher. It's talking 38 inches of rain per year. Um, you're also talking you're getting some snow up in Seattle around five inches. I know here in San Diego it says an inch per year, but let's be clear, San Diego, that is not in um, the main part of San Diego. That's on the far eastern end of San Diego, up in the mountains where it snows like one or two times a year. Um, but San Diego, anywhere near the coast, anywhere within 45 minutes of the coast, you're never going to see any snow in San Diego. So, you know, climate wise, if you don't mind rain, Seattle could be great. But uh, Seattle, you're going to have a lot of rain. I mean, what are we talking? Almost three times as much rain in Seattle as you're going to have in San Diego. So huge difference there. Um, so if weather's important, that's going to help you out there. This is another one that's kind of eye-opening as I was putting this video together is 
Um, so if we look at average cost of living across the United States, that's a score of 100. So if you're above 100, you're higher than average, lower than 100, below average. Um, California as a whole, you're at 150 basically. In San Diego, you're at 154, so a little bit higher than the California average, but you're you know 54 higher than the national average. So it's not cheap to live in San Diego because the weather is amazing, right? But now check this out. You go over to Seattle, so again, you got the 100 is the, the average for the country, 118 for the state, Seattle 172. It is expensive to live in Seattle. Um, much higher cost of living up there. And again, I'll have the links down below. So if you want to kind of geek out on all the different things on here between grocery and health and housing and utilities, transport, like all that data is going to be there. But you can see, you know, when it comes to cost of living, Seattle is not the cheapest place to live between the two. Um, what I want to do is, is dive in and let's look at rent. So let's look at what are we talking about for uh, like a one bedroom rental in San Diego. And let me pull up a, a one bedroom in Seattle. So you see when we compare the two on here, the numbers are pretty similar. Um, not a huge difference, you know, one versus the other. San Diego average one bedroom, you're about 2200 a month. And Seattle, you're about 1900 a month. So a little bit more expensive in San Diego. Um, what I want to do is scroll down and look at some of the trends too and see kind of what's happening with rents. Um, so we could see San Diego's had a, a pretty consistent growth curve um, and it's shot up a lot during COVID just like anywhere else. And Seattle's a little, you know, a little bit different where they actually had a downward um, curve when it comes to rents um, when COVID happened. A lot of people left Seattle and then they were like, oh, Seattle's not so bad and, and they've all started coming back. So they've had a little bit of a different curve there. I want to pull up three bedrooms as well, kind of give you an idea. Um, average rent for a three bedroom in San Diego, you're looking about $4,000 a month. Um, and if we go over here into Seattle, you're looking, you know, three grand, I think peaked out about 3,400. So, um, you know, on the rent side of things, you're definitely going to be more expensive in San Diego. I mean, it's pretty, pretty decent size increase in, uh, median rents in San Diego versus in Seattle. And we'll look at housing as well. If you're thinking about buying a home in one of these areas, what you're going to see on here is that the. Median home price between the two, 875 versus 890, both pretty similar when it comes to median home price. Um, one of the big difference, San Diego up over 15% year over year versus only about 8% in Seattle. So a um, little bit more um, growth on the real estate side of things in San Diego. Um, so definitely something to keep in mind. You can pay about the same in both, but San Diego is definitely the area that's appreciating a little bit quicker um, than what you're seeing in the Seattle area. And we'll keep it moving here. Let's dive into some crime stats. So um, the average across the United States are at about 23 is the uh, score nationally. San Diego are at 19.7. So the violent crime index is lower in, uh, than average in San Diego. And if we flip over here to Seattle, again, US average 22.7, Seattle 32.3. So your violent crime, um, you know, index is significantly higher. Um, that's what 50 plus percent higher in Seattle versus San Diego. So that's something real big to keep in mind. And then your property crime index average 35.4 across the country, San Diego 35.1. So right in online with the average. And we come over here to Seattle and your property crime 77. Like that is very high. All right. I mean, that's on a scale up to a hundred. So you're definitely in that upper third when it comes to property crime rates. So if that's something that's concerning to you, I think it's kind of eye opening to see the difference between the two. Um, the last thing I want to do is, yeah, I'm going to go there. We're going to go there. Um, we're going to go into politics, which a lot of realtors will kind of avoid this. I'm not going to avoid it. I'm just going to use somebody else's data. I'm going to give you my opinions on this. Um, but what you're going to see here is, is both of these are going to um, you know, swing more on the uh, liberal side of things in the last election. Um, you had about 60% vote uh, blue, 37.5% vote red, where in Seattle it was 75-22. So a little bit more um, in Seattle versus San Diego, but both you know definitely leaning in the same direction. So I hope this was valuable to give you a little insight into the two, figure out what's right for you, Seattle, San Diego, whether you want to leave Seattle and come down here or you're debating Seattle and San Diego. Um, I think your big considerations you know, really is going to be climate. I think that's a, the biggest difference. San Diego it just doesn't rain much here. Um, I, I can't even remember the last day it rained. And we're sitting here in July right now. I don't know when it rained last. It's been a while. Um, and that's pretty normal for San Diego. So if you want the beaches that you're going to get in San Diego, 
Um, you want a little bit better weather with less rain, Senegal might be right for you. Now, again, the, the price or the cost of living is going to be a little bit higher here, especially if you're renting. Um, Seattle, you got water everywhere. It's just not beaches. It's just different kind of water, but still water is, is, uh, is everywhere in Seattle. Um, and I'm not talking about the water that falls on your head in the rain. There's um, all the sounds and everything up there. So boating and all that and fishing is, is great in Seattle as well. So hopefully this gave you some information to help you make your decision. If you want to talk a little bit more about that decision, call or text us at the number down below. That'll connect you with my team where we can learn a little bit more about you, your goals, and help put a plan in place to accomplish those goals. And if you want more of our content, hit the thumbs up button, let YouTube know. If you got some questions, throw them in the comments. And if you want more of our content, hit that subscribe button, a little notification bell, and YouTube will take care of the rest. I'm Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group, your guide to living in San Diego. Thanks so much for tuning in. See you soon.